Tonight on the NCU Sports Network, we have our seniors who play in their last contest tonight against South Carolina State. Starting out with me is senior Jordan Wachuku. Hi, Jory. Hi, Ariel. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really well. So, with everything you've been through here at NCCU, you had a long, amazing, amazing ride. Tell me about the memories you'll take away from being here. Um, like you said, it has been a really long, long ride, but it's been a wonderful one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have put it, played anywhere else but here and with my teammates. Um, two of the things that I think I'll probably, well, three now, uh, winning the CIAA championship my freshman year, tearing my ACL, and playing my last game ever here at North Carolina University. Now, you mentioned your um, CIAA championship. Tell me about that team and what that was like to go from being a CIAA athlete. So you went through the transition, and while you weren't even play for a MEAC championship, you still had that transitional experience. So explain that. Um, playing for the CIAA was, I think, a great experience. It kind of helped me transition myself to this MEAC um, conference. Um, the CIAA, it was just as rough. I think it's just the competition is just as good in the MEAC. Um, the team that I played on, it was I was the baby pretty much on the team. Everybody else was like 20s and all that other stuff. I was really young and I was learning, but now, you know, on the MEAC team, I was kind of the, you know, the forefront, I guess you could say. But overall, I think it's been a good experience. Now you end this your career with over 1,400 points, 32 double doubles. I mean, you're now you um, you're above Tiana Beatty with um, 14. I think it's 14, 1,430 um, points. I mean, how do you accomplish that, and how does that feel for you? It feels great considering the fact that this is the only season that I've played without sitting out. The other three seasons I've had to sit out due to injury, so this is my first complete season. And it almost surprises me because I wonder how much more I could have accomplished if I hadn't got hurt. Well, we really appreciate you. You've done a great job this year. So what has it been like to everyone? You put on that maroon and gray uniform before a contest. What has gone through your mind and what inspired you to keep going each year? I think all the things I've been through, the sweat, tears, blood, injuries, everything, it just reminds you how hard you've worked and just to get to the place that you are. And I think that's kind of what got me in this position is just every day you just go out with a certain mentality that, you know, you got to represent your school, your program, yourself, your family, and just NCCU as a university. And I take pride in that. And I just... I'm just happy NCCU has been here to support me all four years of my career here. And one last thing, if you can just say one thing to the future as far as how your legacy goes, what would be one thing that you will always want somebody to know about you or future student athletes to know about you? Um, let's see, oh, one thing about me is I was just, I've always been me. Despite any adverse situations, I've never changed. I just do what I did to get me to this point. Um, I say, honestly, just be humble and just be who you are. And I think that's the best you can ever do in life, period. Thank you so much, Jory. Congratulations. And we really appreciate everything you've given us in over four years. And we continue now with our senior salutes with senior Sharissa Mills. Hey, Sharissa, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing very well. Now let's talk about your career here at NCCU. You came in right as we begin our transition. So what is it like to play Division I basketball? Um, it's definitely a step up from high school basketball. The pace is fast, all players are good, so it's more mental than uh, talent. And you, um, this year, you started quite a few contests. So how did you work up to that starting lineup? What was it like on, in practice and mentally for you to, to make it to that point? Because that's a very, very great milestone. Um, well, I know my past few years haven't been the way I want them, so this summer I have the mentality of working hard and making my senior year a different year and a better year. Um, so in practice, I just had to go hard every day and just hope that they would uh, see the potential I had. So I'm grateful for that. And let's talk about memories. I mean, there are a lot of, you know, it's a lot of travel, a lot of home games. What are the things that you will remember the most about your career here at NCCU? Um, foremost, I remember all my teammates that I have met in the past that have graduated and the ones that are here now. I have made great friendships that will probably last forever. Um, as far as trips, going to Hawaii was one of the best. I've never been there, so that's a place I would like to go back and visit. And which game has been just monumental for you, even if it wasn't a points or a rebounding, you know, just not a, a statistical thing. What game really stands out to, the most to you? 
Um, when we were, I think we lost to Wake Forest by like 11, and that was like a real milestone for us to see how good a, or how much potential we had because it's like a big ACC school, and we were the underdogs, and we came in and we played really hard, and we cut the lead down, so I think at least seven, so we almost pulled a big upset in an ACC school, so that was a very fond memory of mine. Now, how do you want to be remembered as you, you know, you, now you're passing on, you're passing on the torch to not only your teammates now, but future Eagles. So let me, how would you describe yourself and what message would you send to your, your teammates right now and the future of women's basketball? Um, just work hard every day and know that the game is more mental than talent. Um, don't pout even if you make a mistake. Uh, coaches are going to yell because coaches are coaches, but um, just keep your head up and stay positive. And we continue our senior interviews with Shanice Blanks. How are you, Shanice? I'm good. Tired. Well, it's good to have you here. It's been a great season, great year, great four years. I'm very proud of you. So when I think about your career, I think about the seven uh, three-pointers you hit against Shaw last year. Was that one of your favorite games? And if not, which game was your favorite game? Um, I would say Shaw was my favorite game just because I was trying to um, break the three-point record. I think I was shy two threes of tying it. So it was, it was a fun game, it was competitive. A lot of people came out to support us, so that was my favorite game. And talking about exciting three-pointers, tonight you hit four three-pointers. I mean, what, what, do you, what do you think about when you're on that, on that arc and on that trigger and you're just about to release that ball from the three-point arc? If I'm gonna make it or not. I mean, my teammates tell me to shoot all the time, so when they pass me a ball, I'm just trying to shoot and make them happy. Now you entered um, North Carolina State University when they began their MEAC transition. Tell me what that's been like and how, is, how, how do you play knowing that you know, this is, you're in a transition while you won't be able to play for championships but you're making such a large impact on the university and how they enter into the transition? I mean this whole transition has been, it's had its ups and downs. Um, I mean I don't know, we, we struggled a lot but I really do think it was it was a good time for me to come in, although I couldn't compete for nothing. You know, I played every game for my pride and just for respect. And out of the teams that we were playing, like I've always wanted to play big schools like UNC and Duke. And I had that chance by going into that transition. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess it was, it was cool, but it had it up, ups and downs. Being a student athlete, you not only learn how to deal with adversity on the court, but it transfers over into the, the into the real world. So tell me what it's like or what lessons you've learned being a student athlete here at NCCU. Um, I think one of my biggest lessons is just to be on time. Like I don't know, they just said it's real respectful when you're on time. So when I go to class, when I have meetings, I try to be on time for everything. And I mean, it's an old saying, but never give up. And it's true because, you know, we're not playing for nothing, but... Me and Sharissa, former senior, we stick it out to the end. So I guess it's just never give up. And when you, you're in your locker room, or whether it's here or away, and you're putting on that jersey, you put on that good maroon and gray, what kind of pride or how do you feel when you put on your jersey? Um, I mean, I feel good. I feel good. Just lucky to be able to wear this jersey from NCCU because, you know, just coming here, it does mean a lot. After them winning a the CI um, championship and just being able to play here, it does mean a lot. And playing under Joe Lee and Coach Davis and Coach Fryerson, like they're really good coaches. So just being able to play here, it you know it means a lot. So when I put it on, it just I don't know. And one last question for you: As you leave NCCU, not just for the as far as the athletic aspect, but the academic aspect, what legacy or what things what things would you say to the future of the women's basketball program and your fellow teammates? Just to play hard, just to play every game like it's their last. Um, I don't know. These four years for me went by quick, so I don't know. I just to the freshmen because that's basically the rest of the team. Just to, I mean, just every day for what it is. Just don't take nothing for granted. And that was Shanice Blanks from Wilmington, North Carolina, as she does her senior salute. Thank you, Shanice. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.